I've tried to record this video like three times now, and I can never remember what the hell happened in 2023. Hey, Rendo, Steve here. Welcome back to Russell Juice. So, as you can see right here, uh, today we're going to take a look at Dive to Dab to E's Hall of Champions. That's right, they put up a video a couple days ago, given that it's the end of the year, and everybody's reflecting on 2023 and what a shit show it was. Anyways, for WWE, it wasn't quite a shit show because they had a hell of a year. And I'm going to go through and grade every single one of their champions from 2023, all of their championship reigns. Uh, I had to do like actual research into this because, man, my memory is for crap. So we're going to go ahead and dive into it. Let's go ahead and take a look at who, who's kicking this thing off. What a dumbass question that was. Of course, it's going to be Roman Reigns. And I, so Roman, in terms of giving him a grade, sort of going to average out two different grades. So like the first like half, first like 60% to 70% of the year, I give him a solid A. Man, we had the good stuff at the Royal Rumble with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. We had Elimination Chamber with Sami Zayn. We got WrestleMania with uh, Cody Rhodes. We had all the Uso stuff, the Jey Uso stuff, SummerSlam. It was all great. And then he just sort of disappeared. He obviously didn't make a whole lot of appearances this year, but when he did, they were pretty impactful until... Like, post-SummerSlam, he just sort of disappeared. He did, like, what was it, Crown Jewel with LA Knight, which is sort of a throwaway match. That was cool for LA Knight, but it didn't really mean a damn. So, yeah, Roman Reigns, give him an A for the first big chunk of the year, and then sort of he cruised, he cruised on the second part of the year. I'd give him a C for the back 30% of the year, an A for the first 70%. If you do the, you know, it's like B minus. I'd give him a B minus. That seems like a like not a fitting grade for the tribal chief, but uh, it is what it is. He gets he gets a, a like a B, uh, B like a B, what a B with C and an A, but more of an A. I give him a B plus. I give him a B plus. He cruised too much through the end of the year, so that's his problem. What's next? Uh, let's scroll through this thing. He says I'm forever. Ah, here we go. The ring general Gunther. He's great. Yeah, he gets an A. He gets an A plus. Dude wins all of his matches clean. All of his matches are awesome. His feud with The Miz was actually really, really cool. Uh, yeah, Chad Gable. Man, he had a lot of really good. The Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Triple Threat, the Drew McIntyre. Man, he had a lot of really terrific matches. He gets an A++. I love the ring general. He's great. On the other end of things, Austin Theory looks like he's taking his shit right here, uh, which is what he did this year. Austin Theory had a terrible 2023. Kicking things off in November of 2022, he had his failed cash-in on the U.S. title. Eventually, he won that U.S. title in fluke fashion. Had it for a long time. Didn't do shit with it. It didn't do anything for him. This was not a good title reign. Not a good champion. He's he's like basically carrying Grayson Waller's water at this point. I love Austin Theory. I think he's got a lot to offer. But, man, this championship reign... D minus, and that's only not an F because he did beat John Cena at WrestleMania. But even that match was a big old snooze. Next up, Bianca Belair. Oh, man, I remember this WrestleMania entrance was absolutely awesome. All the little kids dancing, it was really fun. So she came into the year as WWE Raw Women's Champion. She beat Becky's modern day record, which was awesome. Look, you're going to give this, I'm going to give this title reign an A. There were moments of this title reign when like she would be challenging damage control and it got to start to sort of inch towards low Bianca wins territory. A lot of people think it went way past that territory, but uh, yeah, did it get silly at times? Sometimes I'm not going to give an A plus. I give it an A. It's a record breaking reign. She walked in as champion. Let me see if I got this right. She got drafted to SmackDown, and then she lost the Raw Women's title while being on the SmackDown brand to Asuka at Night of Champions, and then Asuka was the one who got the WWE, the new Women's Championship. So this is really for the Raw Women's title. Hell of a reign. It was like 420-some-odd days, I guess. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, Charlotte Flair. Returned to WWE, immediately beat Ronda Rousey, which was actually pretty cool. I thought that was pretty neat. And then she had it for like three months and had an absolutely killer match at WrestleMania. I would give this reign because it was kind of like transitional from Ronda Rousey to Rhea Ripley. I don't know why they couldn't have just had. I guess they wanted Rhea to have that big mania thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess Charlotte gets a. She gets a solid B, man. She's she's a champion. She had a, a good, cool moment with Ronda Rousey, and then like three months later or whatever it was, 
she uh, she had a, a phenomenal match, just an awesome match against Rhea Ripley. Of course, she was SmackDown Women's Champion, drafted to Raw, and then they did the title change after Rhea Ripley won it, and Rhea became the new World's Women's Champion. Something like that. I don't know. Damage control. They had a crappy reign. I'd give them like a C minus or a D. I think they came into the year as a uh, uh, tag champions and then they lost it to, uh, I don't even know who they lost it to, to be honest with you. But here's what I remember about damage control. I think they, did they lose it to Becky and uh, Becky and Tri- uh, uh, Alita? Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. In any event, damage control. I do remember this. They came into the, to the year as champions and, uh, and, and they just looked like clowns the entire time. They would lose, like they'd get stacked by Bianca Belair. Every time it was a non-title match, they would lose in hilarious fashion, and they would always find ways to eke out wins as champions. That caught up with them, though. They end up losing. Wasn't a very good reign. Roxanne Perez. Oh, what the hell? Braun Breaker. Okay, Bra- wait, who's next? Braun Breaker or Roxanne? Bra- Braun Breaker. I don't know anything about his reign. Did he walk in as champion, Did he? and he lost it to uh, Carmelo Hayes? Is that what happened here? Uh, yeah, Braun Breaker. I think he was champion for a really, really long time walking into this. And it really did make the guy, and it did a lot for NXT, I feel. You know, he's always got that. And then he turned bad guy. Yeah, I'd give Braun Breaker a solid... How about a B? Braun Breaker, B. B plus. How about that? That's good. That was a really lengthy reign, if it's the same one I'm thinking of. Roxanne Perez. <laughs> oh, man. What a weird picture that is. We'll move on. Hey, this is a much better picture than that one. Oh, man, I'm going to have my channel taken away from being too spicy. Uh, Roxanne Perez. I liked that they kayfabe the mental health stuff. I thought that was relatively interesting, but, you know, just sort of giving up the title or whatever, and then, yeah, uh, like a C title reign. You know, I like Roxanne Perez. I think she's cool and everything, but, you know, the title reign probably did not go to plan. Wesley, solid A, 400, no, how many days? I don't know how long, it was a long-ass title reign. This guy was the perfect, talk about awesome, man. Wesley was able to pivot from being a tag team guy when his partner got kicked out of the WWE, and then he uh, he, he did the solo run, became, this dude, look, Joe Gacy looks like he's wearing diapers here, by the way, um, became North American champion after Carmelo Hayes and just did an absolutely phenomenal job. Man, this guy's great. I hope he recovers from that back issue of his because he's great. He gets an A-plus for his NXT North American Championship reign. It's actually kind of a bummer. I love Dirty Dom. Don't get me wrong. Dom Mysterio is one of my favorite guys, and in a way, I'm happy they gave him that North American Championship, but also I feel like it detracted from NXT. The New Day. Uh, I don't remember Dick about their uh, title run here in, uh, in NXT. I feel like it was just sort of there to pop ratings, and they didn't really mesh within the company all that well. I just... Sort of a spinning of wheels tag team title reign. So I'm going to give this one just a C. You know, like they, I'm never going to give the New Day like a bad grade. But in this case, it was kind of an average reign. You know, like the, the, the people chasing after these should be the hungry young stars of NXT. God damn it. Let's see here. Katana Chase and Caden Carter, NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. They held these titles for a very long time. And I think it was well-deserved. They are some of the most creative tag team wrestlers in the ring. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think they're great, man. Uh, I give them an A for, uh, for their run because it was so long. And they had been in NXT for a really, really long time. I mean, look at what they're doing here. This is crazy shit right here. Man, they're awesome. I think they're great. Uh, let's see here. Noam Dar, Heritage Cup guy. So he had it, he lost it because he had somebody else wrestle for him, and then he got it back. So I think this is him walking into the year as champion, as Heritage Cup guy. And uh, here's the thing about Noam Dar. He's a hell of a personality, but that also kind of overshadows the fact that, oh, my God, this guy's a really good wrestler. He is Mr. Heritage Cup when you're so synonymous with the title uh, because of all the good work you've done. Can't help but give this guy an A. Well done. Gallus. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, I. anyways, they're great. Uh, they had a fairly lengthy run, if I'm not mistaken. Hard hitting guys. I like Gallus. I think they're good. I give them a solid B. B for beer because they like beer. They like their pints. Uh, Becky Lynch and Lita. So for star power's sake, I'll boost this up to a B. The fact that Trish Stratus so thoroughly fucked him over to lose those tag titles. 
drop it down to a B minus because I thought that was, I don't know, the Trish Stratus stuff. I like the Becky Trish feud, but the way it kicked off and her motivation, I don't know, it really didn't do a whole lot for me. Uh, but it was definitely surprising. But I kind of feel like this was just sort of a, I don't know, transitional thing. I guess they beat Damage Control and they lost it to, what was it, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, I think. I think that's what it was. Yeah, so I don't know. B minus on that one. I think it could have been kind of cooler, but they didn't really do much with it. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, they had a lengthy run with the NXT Women's Tag Team titles uh, as well. I don't know if they had it one time or two times. If this is the one time, it was a shame how their tag team title reign ended. They got drafted over to SmackDown, kept the titles, and then were forced to unify the titles against Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, which is fine, but the way they went about it was kind of bunk. Uh, like, they... You know, they they just sort of they didn't really get a lot of shit in in that whole feud. It wasn't even really a feud. It just felt like a foregone conclusion. Uh, but otherwise, their reign was good. I'll give it a solid B minus. I mean, that come on, like what they did to them was kind of jacked. Carmelo A's A, of course, season. It's an A plus. This guy was like the perfect face for NXT. Uh, sort of moving into another phase, past the 2.0 stuff into the just straight up NXT stuff, and uh, a worthy guy to beat Braun Breaker. And, uh, and now he's doing really good stuff with Trick Williams. So, yeah, I dig I dig Carmelo. I think he's done a lot for the character, did a lot for that title. Uh, Rhea Ripley, I don't know what's happening here. It looks like they're phasing in and out of each other, perhaps. Uh, there's a great entrance. Let's get There we go. Let's get one of these Rhea pins here. There we go. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. That's messed up, dude. I can't do that. Let me get another shot of Rhea Ripley. Perfect. There we go. Thank you. Um so, won this title at WrestleMania in, like, one of the best matches of WrestleMania this year. I love this match. Rhea versus Charlotte was awesome. Changed it over to the World's Women Championship because she was on Raw. Uh, and she's basically been the main character of Raw. So, for that alone, I'm going to give this title reign a B. Now, when you factor into the fact that they really have not built up any good opponents for her, you got to bring that down. No, I'm going to say this. All that cool stuff I just said, start off with an A, drop it down to a B, because they haven't really given her many good opponents. She's sort of the Roman Reigns of Raw. She just has that title. She beats everybody. But I love how they book her as a champion. She beats people clean. She's looking for the aggression. She's looking. She's not trying to duck anybody. She wants to bring on all comers. As, as champion, I feel like her championship reign has helped to develop her character, which I think is kind of an important aspect of being a champion. Uh, let's see here. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Yeah, so she gets she gets a B because of the whole she don't have good opponents thing. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Great build up to WrestleMania. Won the titles and then didn't do shit with them afterwards. I'm going to give them a B minus. Uh, let's see here. Who else? Uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. I think somebody got injured here. Didn't like Liv Morgan get injured? Uh, and they beat Trish and uh, and Becky, but that's because Trish decided to lose the match. Kind of, that's kind of a C rain. They're sort of thrown together. Not huge on this rain right here. So I give it a C. What's this shit? Oh, Seth Rollins. Man, I give I give him an A minus, dude. I think that like some of it has been kind of like foregone conclusion territory. But I love the story of you know him and his back, and he's working too hard to keep this thing. Yeah, I like this rain, man. I think it's really good. I give it an A minus. I think that early on it was like, eh, they're just sort of giving this thing to you. But I think the CM Punk thing is really gonna take this to the next level. So I give him like a B plus, A minus. Depends on the day, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Asuka. Asuka's awesome. Always a great champion. Doing the mist thing. Look at that outfit. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Raw Women's Champion, but on SmackDown. And then they gave her this the mustard title. So, you know, it was, she was kind of on the transitional side. Lost it to Bianca not long after. Uh, and then immediately got cashed in by EO. And now she's with EO and damage control. I like I like this the segment here because Charlotte came out and started pointing at the wrong title. That was pretty funny. It's Oscar. She's always great. I'm gonna give her a I'm give her a C. She didn't really do a whole lot here. <laughs> I'll be honest, she didn't do a whole lot with this title reign. But I love seeing that title on Oscar. Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. You know, you gotta appreciate two friends who just want to work with each other. And Ronda Rousey had the kind of clout to get it done. Uh, so good for them. And then at the end, Shayna turned on Ronda, which is kind of cool too. I'm going to give this rain. I don't know. Look at them. They look like they're good friends. Look at that. They are good friends. I love to see that. I give them a C. Nathan Frazier, Heritage Cup winner, but he beat Oro Mensa for it. And then he lost it to uh, Noam Dar. D. Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan got it back because Shayna Baszler turned on Ronda Rousey. 
And then, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody got injured there. <laughs> I forget how all that worked. Yeah, that's right, because these tag titles are flipping. Uh, they're, uh, they're cursed. Yeah. And then Chelsea. So, yeah, th- this reign, I give another C. And then Chelsea Green and Piper Niven and Sony Deville. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to give this shit an A. Chelsea Green is awesome. I'm sad that they had Samantha Irvin get rid of the Chelsea Green thing because that was great. I'm going to give them an A for their title reign. That shit's coming to an end. Oh, it already came to an end because Katana Chance and uh, Carter got those titles, huh? But, yeah, I love Chelsea Green. I think she's absolutely magnificent. I'll give that an A title run. She took a title reign that really should have been a vacate situation and ran with it and added to her character. She's must-see. Piper Nivens benefited from it. She's great. Dirty Dom. <sighs> this is hard because, like, his title reign really took away from what they were building with that title in NXT. Now that Dragon Lee has it and he's on main roster, but he's also in NXT. I don't know. This is a complicated one. I feel like I'm going to give it a B minus or a C. It's B minus because I love Dom. And, you know, him having that title really did help him. Didn't really benefit NXT all that much. I'll bring it down to a C plus. I'll bring it down to a C plus. That was a hell of a moment, though. I tell you what. Tony D and Stax Lorenzo. Uh, yeah, sure. Then they lost it to Chase U. Yeah, they're good. I guess like a B, I guess. I don't know. I don't really watch a whole lot of NXT. <laughs> These guys just sit around. Re- like from all, I think they just like sort of sit around restaurants, right? And like talk about stuff. Act like they're in a mob, but they're kind of not. Uh, let's see here. Bianca Belair. I don't even know if you can grade this one because immediately... It was a cash in. So it was like one match. She had it. And then, whoa, look at this. Looks like that SpongeBob meme. Uh, EO Sky comes out and she wins it. EO's reign has been a firm A minus. She's awesome. All of her matches are great. Fuck it. I'm going to give her an A, a solid A, not a minus. Uh, yeah. No, she's great, man. I love what they've done with damage control, man. Ooh, that's, that's scary territory there for, uh, for what's her face, for Bailey. Rey Mysterio, what an asshole. He took Santos Escobar, Santo Escobar, Santos Escobar spot in this match against Austin Theory, beats him, uh, does a whole lot of nothing with the title, really. I mean, he defended it all. Hey, there's Trinidad Tobago guy. Uh, I mean, he, he, he spared us from the Austin Theory title reign, so that's good. I don't know. I'll give him a C plus. Really nothing. To, eh, really not that great of a title run. Uh, no M. Dar got the Heritage cut back. Again, I give him an A. He's awesome. Finn Balor and Judgment and Damian Priest, Judgment Day, picked up the tag titles uh, from Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. They're great. They get an A. Uh, Becky Lynch is NXT Women's Champion. I thought this was the one time when they really did the NXT main roster crossover thing really, really well. The Dom one, I don't know. I feel like it took away from that division. Becky's added to the division. It got a lot of shine in NXT, boosted the ratings, and she put over a new star in Lyra Valkyrie. I give this reign an A, man. I, You know what? Fuck it. I give this an A+. Plus. I think this is awesome. This is really good stuff. And she had a couple of killer matches, too. She had that last woman standing match with uh, Tiffany Stratton. I think that happened, right? Trick Williams. Sorry, Trick. Uh, this is a D. I'm, not, I'm never going to give Trick Willie a, an F because whoop that trick. That being said, he had this title for three days and then he lost it. So, sorry, dude. Uh, Dom Mysterio, same as the other reign. I mean, this was a three-day interruption. Give it whatever I gave the last one, a C plus or a B minus or whatever. I love Dom, though. He's great. Uh, let's see here. And we've got Ilya Dragunov. God damn it, pal. This guy's an NXT champion. He's up there with Mello. He's an A guy. So, I give this reign an A. Phenomenal matches. Great promos. This guy is the absolute shit. I love him. Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso, an A+. This is a really short reign, but it had the best press conference I've ever seen in my entire life. For that reason alone, and I love both these guys, fuck it, it's my video, I'm giving it an A. They're awesome. Yeet. Uh, and then Judgment, Judgment Day got it back. They run Monday Night Raw. Give them an A. Also, uh, Lyra Vell, oh, Chase U. They won those titles, but they got popped for gambling. I don't really watch a whole lot of NXT, so I'll just give them like a uh, B minus, I guess. Lyra Valkyria. 
She beat Becky Lynch, for God's sakes. That's a huge made moment. Um, beyond that, I don't really know a whole lot about Lyra Valkyria. Uh, she's a really good wrestler. I know that because I've seen some of her matches. Um, but uh, yeah, from those vignettes, she used to just like run around the woods and stuff. So I'm going to give this title reign a B. B plus. B plus for Lyra. I don't know. She needs to beat somebody else that's a big name in order to get a better grade than that. Logan Paul. Holy shit, I became a Logan Paul fan in 2023, everybody. Uh, his title reign with the U.S. Championship, so far I think he's taking pictures of it naked, and, uh, and and he really takes it seriously. He shows it off everywhere. He goes to, like, events with it. He beat Rey Mysterio by cheating, thanks to Santos Escobar, and, uh, and then he claimed that he didn't cheat at all. Logan Paul, he really seems like he loves being a WWE guy, and I buy it, man. I buy it. I think it's awesome. Give this guy an A. Sorry, everybody, but that's what I'm doing. Gave him an A. Uh, Stax and D'Angelo. I, I don't know. A B again? I, I honestly don't. I don't watch NXT, so I don't know. I guess these guys are fun. Let me know in the comments what grade you want me to give these guys. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then Dragon Lee just beat Dom Mysterio for it. Screw you, Dragon Lee. I like Dom Mysterio. You get a D. D for Dragon. <laughs> oh, no. I think Katana Chance. Katana Carter and Caden Chance. Uh, this is a transitional run here. I love their NXT reign. I think it was great. It was long. It was awesome. This right here, they're totally about to lose that shit to the Kabuki Warriors. Uh, but they're very creative in the ring, so I give them a B. I don't think this reign is going to be very long, though. So there you go. My God, that was long. Jeez. There was, that, was a long, that was a long year, man. Anyways, let me know what your grades were, are for the... I just did a little too much talking, man. You know what to do. Comment, subscribe, like, give Wrestle Juice a grade. That was way too much talking.